Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Before this video starts, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a super simple trick. It only requires a few cards. It's a super easy beginner trick because I don't do a whole lot of beginner tricks on this channel. And so I'm going to go ahead and do a beginner trick for you guys. Super simple, super fun. It's a super, like if you just don't want to carry a whole deck of cards in your pocket and you just want to carry like a few cards, this is a good trick. You can just pull out, you can even fit a few cards in your wallet and do this trick. So it's a super fun trick. And uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, everybody, so as you guys can see, I have eight cards here. We'll go ahead and give them a quick mix up, just like this, getting them good and mixed up. And when I'm done, I would just have the spectator select any cards. So let's say they go with this one uh, right here. I'm going to turn my head away, but remember this card, just like this. And we'll go ahead and lose it somewhere um, in the middle, just like that. And we'll go ahead and give it just a quick mix up, just getting it good and lost somewhere, okay? So look, I have, we're gonna go ahead and split the uh, pack into two piles here, so four and four. Just keep an eye out for your card, but obviously don't tell me where your card is. So look, we have the five of hearts, jack of hearts, nine of clubs, queen of diamonds in this pile. Okay, so I'd have the spectator put their hand over this pile just like this. And then we have uh, our second pile over here. In this case, what's in this one um, is the three of diamonds, seven of hearts, five of spades, and the six of spades, just like that, okay? So check this out. Which uh, which card was your pile? Which pile was your card in? Um, and the spectator would say it's in my pile. I would say, okay, check this out. I'm gonna take your card out, flip it over, and put it in my pile, just like this. Snap my fingers. It's already happened because now there's only three cards, and none of these three cards are the spectator selection because if I spread out mine, their selection has appeared in the middle of my pile. So that was the trick, guys. And now let's learn how to do it. Okay, everyone, so here's how to do the trick you just saw. So you're obviously going to need eight cards. This can be completely random. It does not matter what these eight cards are, so long as you have eight playing cards, okay? So whenever you're done with that, you can walk up to your spectator, and you're ready to begin. So you can start just shuffling them up. You can hand it over to the spectator. They can shuffle it up. Just get these cards nice and shuffled, and then you can just have uh, the spectator choose any cards. So let's just say we go with this one right here. Normally, you wouldn't want to look at it, but in this case, it's fine. We have the seven of hearts, Okay. So while they're looking at their selection, what you're going to do is you can just talk and say, okay, so you have your card, let's put it somewhere in the middle, and you're just going to spread off four cards. So look, one, two, three, four, just like that. So now you have three in your other hand, and you're just going to say, go ahead and place your card somewhere in the middle. So it looks like, you know, you're just putting it in the middle of your little pack here, um, when in reality, you're actually putting it in a very specific place. So now it's the fifth card down, because you have these four cards on top of it, so now their card is going to be the fifth card down, just like that, Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to basically use whatever you, you really you don't have to put it there. Really what you're trying to do is control it to being second from the bottom. So that's step one of the way I like to do it. So after you have it in the middle somewhere, what you're going to do is you're going to take it and uh, you're going to use your thumb to peel off one, two, three cards. And while looking like you're just overhand shuffling it. So you're going to take your thumb and go one, two, three, drop the rest of the pack on top just like that. Now you're going to take it and do the same thing. This time you're going to peel off four cards. So one two, three, four, drop the rest of the pack on top, okay? And now the seven of hearts is in the second, the last position, just like that, which is exactly where you want it. So let's just go over that one more time. So we have the seven of hearts. We're gonna place it somewhere in the middle. So in reality, you're pushing off four cards with three in your other hand. So now it's just kind of sandwiched in the middle. It's gonna be in the fifth position now. You're gonna take your uh, pack here. One, two, three, drop the rest on top. One, two, three, four, drop the rest on top, and that card will always be in the um, second to last position. Okay, so you can really use whatever you want. You can, obviously, easier way to do that. We'll just do a pinky pull down on the bottom card and say, okay, we're going to take your card and lose it somewhere in the middle and then just put it right there, just like that. Something simple like that. Uh, so it's really whatever you guys want to do. Okay, so whenever you have their card in the middle somewhere, what you're going to do is you're going to basically go one, two, three, four, and then spread off the other four, and then split it in half. So four and four, because four plus four equals eight, duh. Okay, so uh, you're gonna say, okay, so don't tell me where your card is, just keep an eye out for it. And you're gonna take this bottom part of the pile, and it's going to flip it over, and it's gonna lay on top of the top half, just like that, okay? So now their card is right here. It's going to be the second position. At this point, you don't know what their card is, but you do know that it is uh, that second card you're going to see. So now you're going to show them uh, the four cards in this first pile. So you're going to do it in a very specific way. You're going to peel off. You're going to hold it um, in your uh, um, dominant hand. 
and middle grip, which is basically your ring and middle finger at the top edge, thumb here at the bottom, and then your index finger is just sitting right here, just like that. And now you're going to come over with your other hand, and you're going to peel off the first card, just like this. So you're going to say, look, we have the Jack of Hearts. You're going to come back and grab the Seven of Hearts, and you're going to bring this hand under the pack, just like that, okay? So you're going to come over and say, we have the Seven of Hearts. Now, whenever you peel the Seven of Hearts off, you're going to hold a break, just like that. So now you're holding a pinky break in between... Uh, the Seven of Hearts and this bottom card here. So now whenever you come back to grab um, that next card, what you're going to do is you're going to ditch that Seven of Hearts as you grab that next one. So you just left that Seven of Hearts there, you grabbed it at the break, and now you only have two cards here, and that Seven of Hearts is now at the bottom of this pile, just like that, okay? Now you're going to come over, grab the Queen of Diamonds, just like that, and now you only have three cards here, and now you have that seven of hearts at the bottom of this pile. So let's go over that one more time just to make sure everybody's clear on how to do that. Okay, so you know that their card is the second one down just like that. You're going to say, look, we have the jack of hearts. You're going to come over. You're going to catch um, a pinky... How do I hold this? Hang on a second. You're going to catch a pinky break just like that in between the seven and that jack. Now you're going to come over, and you're just going to ditch this card the seven right there, your thumb is going to grab that card at the break as you peel off that three, just like that, and then the queen. Then you only have three cards here, and you have that seven at the bottom, just like that, okay? So now that you have that, you're holding this. Obviously, they don't know that. You're going to take what they think are their the four cards with their card in it, and you're going to say, put your hand over that, okay? And that's basically just so they don't mess with it, and they don't see that you only have three cards here, because some spectators might get a little questioning, and they might try to spread it out. So just tell them, hey, put your hand over that just like that and just keep it there for a little while so now what you gotta do is you need to get this seven of hearts in between um these cards so here's how you're gonna do that you're gonna take your thumb and you're gonna come over and you're gonna riffle down one two cards just like that so i know my hand covered it let me try and show that in a better angle so you're gonna come over and you're gonna riffle down one two cards just like that and hold a pinky break just like that so now you're holding a pinky break above those top two cards now you're gonna come over with this hand go under that break and fan out pretty much these three cards. You're going to use this hand to hold this with the, uh, use your thumb here on your left hand to hold that card as you take these other two away. So now it looks like you just kind of spread out the pile and you're showing you have two here, two here. You know, you have four cards. And in reality, this is a double and you're just using your fingers to keep this squared up just like that. And you're showing, look, I have four cards. And now you're going to take these. They were on top. You're going to take these and whenever you bring your hands separate, separate them just like that. When you bring it back, these two cards are going to go to the bottom and you're going to square everything up carefully, being sure not to flash. So it looks like you just casually spread the four cards out and squared them back up, when in reality, you have now have their seven of hearts in the middle um, of your pile here. Now, you want to be able to show the four cards um, that you have. Well, how do you do that if one, you know, we have five cards here and one of them is facing the opposite direction. You're going to do something called an Ascanio spread. I'm about to teach you how to do that right now. So you're going to hold the pack and build grip like we talked about earlier and you're going to come over with this hand and you're going to grab with your middle finger on the top and your index finger on this bottom card and you're going to pull those two cards out while still holding um, these three cards here uh, with in middle grip just like that. So you peel these out and now your middle finger is going to come and grab that next card just like that and pull it out while you're still holding this double right here in middle grip, just like that, okay? So you're hiding, essentially, their card um, underneath this five of spades, just like that. And now you've basically just um, hidden their card while being able to show the four cards. You can let go. Just be careful that it doesn't separate, and you can point each one. Say you have the five of spades, six of spades, nine of clubs, and the five of hearts. Okay, then you would grab that in um, middle grip again and square back up. So let's go over the Escanio spread one more time here. So you're going to hold it in middle grip, thumb on this card, index finger on this card, pull them out. Your middle finger is going to come, grab this next card, pull it out, and in middle grip, you're going to be holding this double here, and do not let it separate, and you can show that you have your other four cards here while you're completely hiding that seven of hearts, okay? So now you're going to square back up, again, being careful not to flash, and the trick is done by this point. All your slides are done. You can reveal however you want. You can flip this back over and say, look, now I'm going to take your card out, flip it over, and put it in the middle of mine. And they're going to kind of be waiting for you to do it and, you know, literally take their card out, flip it over, and then you can snap your finger and say, it's already happened. And then they can, usually by this point, they'll lift their hands really quick and try and see or something, or they'll do it slowly because they're suspicious. But once they see their card is missing and that your card is now in the middle of your pile, they are going to be completely shocked. So, yeah, that is the trick, guys. It gets great reactions. 
And uh, it's a super simple trick. This is not hard at all. This is a super easy trick. Something simple like you can just stick these eight cards in your wallet and just, you know, walk. If you ever see someone who wants to see a show, if you ever see someone who you want to show a card trick, you can easily just pull it out of your wallet or your pocket or whatever. So it's more convenient than carrying out around a whole deck of cards. But that is the trick, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys uh, for 240 subscribers. Let's try to get to 500, guys. We're trying. We're on the road to 500 subscribers now, and hopefully, uh, we'll try and hit. We're trying to hit 1,000 before the end of the year, but I'm not trying to push too high. So again, thank you guys for 240 subscribers. Let's try and hit 500, guys. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. See you later.